This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In today's video, I wanted to talk about PEP 765 or 765, which will be released in Python 3.14. And I think this is a great addition to the language because it finally disallows us to do something that would probably destroy our code or lead to unexpected bugs. And this is disallowing return break and continue that exit a finally block. And as you probably know by now, the finally block is always executed, no matter what happens in the try and the accept block. So let's go to PyCharm for a moment. And here we're just going to try to raise an exception, which is quite easy. So raise exception, and it's my infamous Bob exception. And then we're just going to type in finally. Bob, you can't stop me. As you can see, even if we raised an exception, the finally block was executed, regardless of the exception being encountered first. And that's what makes finally so powerful. And when used wrong, it can lead to a lot of bugs in your code. So what it's saying is that this pet proposes to withdraw support for return break and continue statements that break out of a finally block. And that's the meat of the subject. Let's go down to the specification where we can see some sort of an example, because right now I don't have Python 3.14 on my computer, but there are still a few examples of what we can look forward to. For example, as you can see right here, if we were to create a for loop and then we were to try to do something and we were to use finally to break out of that, this will in the future raise a syntax error because in your accept block, in the try and accept block, you could also have something else that says continue or break. So this would unfortunately override whatever you have in the accept block, and that's not something you would always want. And it also gives us an example of what won't raise a syntax error. For example, here we have a for loop in the finally block, and when you call break, it doesn't break out of the outer layer or the outer scope. It only breaks out of the inner for loop, which isn't really part of that return from finally. So in the future, if you are using CPython, it's going to emit a syntax warning in version 3.14. And I said this would emit a syntax error, but this might also emit a syntax warning. So we're going to find out what it's actually going to emit once we run this on CPython in 3.14. But personally, I really like this change that prevents us from adding return statements, break and continue in our finally block. I think that's going to be very useful as a warning to say the very least. And if that becomes a syntax error, I won't mind because it will prevent me from making a lot of stupid mistakes. But I'd really like to hear what you think about this change, whether you're looking forward to it or whether you think it's going to ruin your code because I don't know, maybe some people out there enjoy using return, break and continue in the finally block and this change might ruin it for them. I've never heard of a use case that required that, but I would love to hear that from you guys. But that's really all I wanted to cover in today's video. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.